is it Shayna and today I kind of wanted to do something just a little bit different this stuff is like some of my favorite stuff right now so this is gonna be like a haul favorite haul favorites not a word but what is a bunch of these products I just got within the past month so we're gonna be going over like a, it's gonna be a lot of beauty and hair care items because wait for it I got heat damage when I straighten my hair but we'll get to that in a little bit sweet baby Jesus we don't do thunder my first favorite is actually this company called Scentbird. bird is a monthly perfume subscription you kind of have like this little cue you get to decide what kind of perfume you want they will send you this little vial full of a 30-day supply for $14.95 the one that I got was Versace Bright Crystal. So they sent you this little case and all you do is put the little vial in the case, push it all the way down, twist it, and then it pops up and then you just spray it on and you are good to go. And all you do to remove it is just twist it out. Like for real nature, you just gonna be all disrespectful while I'm trying to record. And it comes with its own little drawstring carrying pouch. It does make it very easy to find in your purse when you have it in the little container. And also, because it has this casing, you don't have to worry about it breaking. Like, I'm seeing in, you know, stuff happens in your purse that causes stuff to break for I don't know what reason. Probably because there's too much stuff, but we're not going to talk about that today. So, I'm going to have the link for you down in the description bar where you can get your own. To me, $14.95 is not that bad. So when it comes to skincare, you guys know I'm always on the lookout for different products to use. I have a couple that I've only been using for like the past week. However, my skin is completely clear of any type of acne. I still have a lot of scarring. We're working on it. And I will give credit where credit is due. I got this Dead Sea Mud Mask. So I'm not gonna lie, when you put this stuff on your face, it kind of reminds me of the girl that turned into the blueberry on Willy Wonka. It's like this really funky, weird color, but it doesn't have a bad or a strong odor as some face masks do. And you only use it once a week. You apply it all over your face, leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then you'll wash it off in a circular motion with warm water. I've only used it twice so far. And within the past week, I literally only had this one little, it's really a blemish now, but my skin and my pores are like, they feel so amazingly soft. And because I love this product so much, I'm gonna recommend it and I'm gonna give it away. So if you would like to receive this product, the rules will be in the description bar of how you can enter and how you can receive it. So when that's all said and done, I like to get my Revive Pro Ice Roller. My eyes get really puffy. I do the ice, little ice cube trick where you put the ice cubes under your eyes and I'm always using like different eye creams and stuff like that to try to help with like discoloration, the puffiness, all that. This does a lot. So this actually helps to brighten the dark circles under your eye. It helps to improve the blood flow in your face and helps to tighten your like jawline. And of course, when it comes to the acne side of it, it fights blemishes, it gets rid of like redness, it helps to shrink your pores, and it's not just for your face. Personally, I like to use it on my calf muscles because I do have an issue with getting Charlie Horse and when you roll this on your calf muscles it feels so amazing honestly like I would give this as a gift because this is definitely one of those multi-purpose things that you probably want to have around your house because it does so much and you don't have to worry about having ice on hand and it doesn't take up that much space and to clean it all you have to do is spray it with alcohol I use the 91% alcohol and rub it down with a cotton swab and I personally put mine in a plastic bag before I put it in the freezer and that's just for sanitary purposes like even though I sprayed it with alcohol I'm a little bit of a germaphobe so for me that's just for sanitary purposes it's not something that you absolutely have to do I'm gonna take a break from talking for a second cheers 
gonna enjoy this watermelon sherbet. And if you want to make your own watermelon sherbet, I do definitely have a recipe on it. You can check it out. Mm. It's so good. Okay, so now we're gonna finally get to heat damage. Yes, my hair was heat damaged during the straightening of my hair. And that's because I turned that, uh, what you call it, flat iron all the way to 450. That was my bad. And I did that because, for one, any other time I've straightened my hair with any other flat iron, I have always had to turn it up to 450 in order to get my hair even kind of straight. What I forgot was, that's a brand new flat iron. Like, anytime you use brand new equipment, it's going to get all the way hot. Like, it's gonna go up to that actual degree as opposed to over time when you're using certain equipment, it doesn't get as hot as it does when you first get it. So, that was my first mistake. My second mistake was doing that second pass. I think if I would've only done one pass and just left it alone, I would have been okay. I'm not worried about it because it's hair, it grows back. So when it comes to heat damage, for me personally, like I don't know if you're gonna be cool or come out a bag on me, but I'm not about struggle hair, I'm not about scraggly in, I'm not, like I can't do it. I don't know how other people do it and I commend them for doing it because I don't have the patience to do it. See, the way my hair is set up, if my ends are not taken care of, the rest of my hair does not function properly. Since I know that about my hair, I'm not gonna struggle with it. That hair is already gone. You can cry about it if you want to. I'm not. My hair was to the middle of my back when I cut it. It is now right above my bra strap. So right now, my challenge is taking care of my hair, and by the end of the year, that hair will be back. It will not stop me from straightening my hair again. It will not stop me from still heat training my hair. I just know now what to do. Like, like that, that flat iron is good, y'all. Like, I, I don't hold any grudges against the flat iron. I still have my curls. I, I want my curls to be healthy and my hair overall to be healthy than trying to hang on to length that I know I will get back if I take care of my hair properly. So right now I am on a challenge to basically protect and grow my hair back out. So the products that I've been using for the past couple of weeks to help my hair are the Mop Top Hair Care System and the Irresistible Me Hair Care System. Since we are getting back on the healthy hair journey, I am only shampooing my hair twice a month, once every other week. The shampoos that I've been using are the Mop Top Clarifying Rescue Treatment. It's a really, really good clarifying shampoo. I only clarify my hair once every other month or once every month. It just really depends on what my hair needs. Any and every time I straighten my hair, I always clarify my hair. That's to get all of the product that I put in my hair to keep it straight, get that out. Two, it really helps to get your curls back in order. And then I'll follow it up with a deep conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. I actually really like the mop top daily conditioner which is kind of like a co-wash and the leave-in conditioner which is like the daily leave-in and that really helped to put the spring back in my curl and I really like this hair care line period I'm gonna be really honest I haven't used the curly hair custard very much because my hair has been in braids most another set that I really like is the irresistible me hair care line and of course it has argan oil in it which you guys know I am crazy about argan oil. It gives you that really clean, like squeaky clean feeling, but your hair doesn't feel stripped. When I put the conditioner in it, and I've been alternating between this conditioner and the mop top conditioner every other day. And yes, that is a lot and it is very excessive. That's just what my hair needs right now. And between the two, my curls are actually doing fine. My curls have loosened just a little bit. They did exactly what I wanted to do when I was trying, when I said I wanted to heat train my hair. Any and every single time I use shampoo and conditioner, I use my scalp massaging brush that helps to stimulate hair growth because it massages your scalp and of course that helps to grow your hair out all right guys so that's it i hope this was really helpful to you if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and thumbs up don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share this video thanks for watching see you in the next one bye